Good evening. Today I want to convince you that families can play a critical part in children's mathematical success and present several ideas of how we can increase family engagement in math. When I tell people my research focuses on math development and education, typically I get one of two reactions, which is either, oh, math, exciting, or, oh, math. <laughs> math can invoke some very strong reactions in people. The apprehension that people feel towards math arises because many people experience math anxiety, which is a negative feeling related to performing math in school and in everyday settings. Others feel that math is related to a natural or inborn aptitude, and both of these feelings uh, can influence children's and adults' mathematical performance. The Positive feelings that people have towards math is often related to positive experiences that people have in working with others in math-related classes or in the home context. In the, in the Early Childhood Interaction Lab, our research focuses on how play and social interactions can promote children's math skills in both the home and the early in the, in the home and in classrooms. And we focus on early math skills, such as counting, identifying numerals, recognizing shapes, comparing how big and small numbers are with one another. And these early math skills are surprisingly important for later math success. Early math knowledge lays the foundation for learning more complex math skills. And being successful in more advanced math classes like geometry and algebra can open up possibilities for students for entering fields and careers related to science and math and engineering. Now, families can play an important role in building these early math skills, but we all know that families are very busy with school and work and life commitments. As a working parent myself, when my children were younger and people would ask me to do one more thing at home with them, I often felt very overwhelmed. But it's when my children were younger, I began focusing on the home math environment because I learned that families often think that the only way to engage in math learning at home is through formal math activities like worksheets or flashcards. And these are wonderful ways for children to practice math at home, but they're, they're not the only way. So one idea to increase family engagement in math is to expand on what we think about math learning in the home to include playful learning activities like games and toys. This can include you know, building with blocks to talk about shapes and measurements or looking through books to practice counting the pictures on a page. These kinds of activities can provide chances for families to talk about math and in these engaging and playful contexts. In our own research, we study how playing simple board games and card games can promote children's early number skills. We find that these games have many cues embedded in them that allow players to talk about math. Players can talk about who has the higher card or how many spaces do we need until we reach the end of the game to win. These games provide chances for children to practice their math skills and their number skills in a fun and meaningful context. Now, in addition to games and play, there are many activities and routines that families are already engaging in that can provide opportunities for engaging in math learning. We can take mealtime, for example. Meals can be a chance for families to talk about how many pieces of fruit are in the bowl, or how many spoons do we still need to set the table, or what's the shape of the plate that we're using, or even to talk about fractions when they're cooking and preparing the meal. Families actually report engaging in many playful and routine math activities at home, but these interactions can vary widely. And this isn't surprising because not all games and toys were designed with math in mind. And so some families may not have a chance or notice the math that can be embedded in them. 
So another way to increase family math engagement is to provide families with support and resources on how to increase their math engagement in play and in their everyday activities. In our own research, we have found that providing simple guides or instructions to families can actually increase how much families talk about math during play. We've also engaged families in math nights in preschools where you invite families to come and engage in math activities and with other members of their community. And we provide games for families to take home as a part of our research so we can increase family engagement in a fun and beneficial way. The goal for members of our lab and others in the field is to create a larger message about the importance of family math engagement and raise awareness of how math can be embedded in play and games and the things that our, our people are already doing. In the field of literacy, campaigns have been conducted to emphasize the importance of reading books to your children at night to promote language and literacy skills. And these have been very successful. In math, it's not so simple and giving a parents kind of a one line statement about what they should be doing and related, related to math. But I actually think that we can use this to our advantage. Instead of saying one thing, we can say many things can be related to math and how we can promote math learning in the home. We want the message to build on the strengths of families, even if they're apprehensive towards math. We want to empower families to engage in math learning in their play and games in the routines that they're already doing. So we can build on the variability that we see in languages and cultures and comfort levels of families so that people can see that math can be engaging and meaningful for all families. The broader goal here is for to support families to engage in math learning at home with their children so that their children can go on to be the mathematicians and scientists that they want to be. Thank you.